Today in Across the Fence, the federal government says there's no evidence that catamounts are in the Green Mountains. The University of Vermont begs to differ. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Keith Silva, in for Judy Simpson. The word mascot originates from a French word spelled M-A-S-C-O-T-T-E. It means lucky charm. French sailors referred to the figureheads of their ships as mascots. As the word made its way into the English language, its meaning expanded to apply to animals as well as objects. Nowadays, mascots are everywhere. They pitch products and they, a few become synonymous with worldwide corporations. There are only two schools that have adopted the catamount as their mascot, Western Carolina and the University of Vermont. We can't speak on good authority about PAWS, the Western Carolina catamount, but we can tell you about UVM's mascot and the people who always make sure UVM is ready to rally. Walk a mile in these shoes and you'll understand at least one thing, the suit gets hot. Extremely hot. I always bring a change of clothes with me just because like, you're gonna walk out of the gym otherwise just like soaking wet, which is not something that people typically think about with mascots. <laughs> When Michaela Sullivan isn't studying for her degree in food science, she's one of 10 UVM students who lace up the skates, pull on the gloves, and put on the head of UVM's mascot, Rally. You get to kind of be whoever you want without anybody really knowing. And, you know, obviously you have to stay within certain rules, but there's no boundaries or limitations as to what you can do. Rally is the latest in a short line of UVM mascots. In fact, for its first 135 years, Universitas Veridas Montes, UVM to you and me, was mascotless. And then in February of 1926, the student senate asked the editors of the Vermont Cynic, the school's newspaper, to publish a ballot. The choices were the lynx, the wildcat, I would suggest, or none. Students were asked to send in their choice to the cynic by the following week. And then, nothing. It's unclear what choice the students made or if they even sent in their ballots. It's not until three months later, in May of 26, under the headline, Senate returned as a result of ballot by men students, where a subheadline appears, catamount to be mascot. The article goes on to say that the vote took place in the corridor of Old Mill, only men were allowed to vote, and the other mascots up for consideration that day were the cows, camels, and tomcats. The last known wild catamount to be seen in Vermont was killed in 1881. From the lofty peaks of Mansfield. The last, and so far only, live mascot to prowl the playing fields of UVM was Rink. He enjoyed a storied but brief run as the official mascot in the fall of 1968. Bought by a South Burlington couple the year before, this Puma Cub went from 10 to 150 pounds in less than two years before being shipped off in January of 69 to live out his life at Canada's Granby Zoo. For many generations of green and gold fans, the mascots they grew up with are Charlie and Kitty Catamount. Charlie started his life as a bachelor in the 1950s until he met Kitty in the 1970s. The two tied the knot at a UVM hockey game not long after Kitty's arrival. Charlie and Kitty reigned until 2004. Now retired to the UVM Athletic Hall of Fame, it's not known if the couple followed rink up north to live out their days. The different styles of hats and t-shirts on sale at the UVM bookstore is enough to make a mascot's head spin or bobble. This is marketing in the modern age. If they could have sold rink dolls in the 60s, they would have. With brands and branding bigger than ever, it was time for UVM to rally its base. Catamount is critical to my job. Krista Bailo is a UVM Associate Athletic Director and University Licensing Coordinator. Think of her as the keeper of the catamount. She helped give the UVM mascot its makeover in 2004. The look of the mascot is really aligned with the look of our primary mark, which we refer to as the VCAT logo. 
So it's really important for us to make sure that the mascot, when he is out and about in the community, that it really um, does tell the story of who we are as an athletic department, because he, again, is representing our entire university, not just varsity athletics. When you look at our VCAT logo, you don't necessarily see Charlie Catamount. Now you look at our VCAT logo and you see a representation of that Catamount in Rally Catamount's face, uh, which is also important. I think if you really look across the board at many Division I institutions, you'll see that there is a consistency between their brand and their logo and the mascot. As much as there was a lovableness to Charlie and Kitty, no one uses two mascots. So when the mascot makeover was ordered, two became one and Rally was born. But does he have to look so, you know, scary? I wouldn't say scary, it's probably too strong of a word, but it just teetered that line, you know, and for us there were certain things that we wanted to do to make sure that he still was uh, a friendly, engaging mascot. So an example would be his teeth, the first rendering that came back, he had really sharp, jagged teeth, and um, we ended up asking them to please tone it down a bit, so they rounded the teeth. Um, it's certainly a different look because Kitty and Charlie both had their mouths closed. Uh, and Riley has his mouth open, and um, he's much larger. There's actually padding that is in the suit to make him look a bit more muscular and, and strong. And you know that's important to us, though. We want him to look like he is a competitor. Baylor graduated from UVM in 2002, so she understands how graduates and fans develop a fondness to their school's mascot. One of the most important pieces of what we do on the day to day, and that's being friends to our fans and hearing their voices. And there are people in the community who uh, were, you know, upset about Kitty and Charlie moving on and, and being inducted into the Hall of Fame because they identified um, part of their experience at UVM or post collegiate experience as a fan with the university. So we were very sensitive to that as well. Um, change, as you know, is not easy. Um, and now I'm happy to say that that was a very short stint, you know, with the turnover. Um, and he was quickly beloved by the community, which I really appreciate and, and value about where we live and um, who we have as our fan base. The UVM fan base has embraced rally, fangs and all. For the students who get to be rally, it's nothing but fun. My dad, for one, brags about it all the time, that his daughter is the mascot. <laughs> and uh, so it's really cool. It's like a huge talking point if you use it in the right way, because applying to other jobs, I put it on my application sometimes, just as like a little thing to add like a, a talking point to it. Um, and people are really excited about it, generally. And it makes you want to like continue, in a way, to keep that living on. And I can't wait to be able to like go back in life and talk to my like grandkids or my children and be like, that was me one day. <laughs> and I was running around in the rally suit. <laughs> and uh, it's really cool in that way and to be a part of like a legacy almost. To get to wear the suit comes with some rules. For one, rally doesn't talk. And it's advisable to always keep your head up, especially when it comes to selfies. People initially get really excited for the most part um, and go in for the hug or the high five, try to get a picture and usually it's a selfie, in which case you have to get the head in the photo somehow. Generally involves some sort of standing on my tippy toes if they're tall or crouching down. Uh, if it's a little kid, there's a 50-50 shot that they're gonna ball their eyes out. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the other chance is that they get really excited and follow me around and pull on my tail, um, pat me on the head if they're high enough up. <laughs> Big or small, short or tall, there's a little rally in everything. It's like one of the coolest things I've ever done by far. Um, and you know, you just get to like, it's like you get to dress up and play around and like who doesn't want to do that as an adult? You don't get to do that enough. Um, and you know, it's, it's definitely embracing my inner childhood spirit while I can. <laughs> so definitely love that. <laughs> What does it mean to be a catamount? What does it mean to put on the jersey? What does it mean to walk around this campus? Um, and who ultimately embodies uh, the ultimate student here at UVM? And the mascot has to represent who we want to be and who we are. From not being on the ballot to being the big cat on campus, it's good luck to have a mascot if you want to start a rap.
I'm joined now by Nora King. Nora works with UVM Athletics as a Director of Marketing and Fan Engagement. Thank you for being here, Nora. Thanks for having me. Um, one of your responsibilities is to keep rallies schedule. Games, public appearances, how often is rally out and about? So rally is out and about in any given week, anywhere from five, 10, sometimes 15 times in a week. Whether it be community appearances, at schools, um, local corporate sponsors, out on campus, birthday parties, and even weddings. Even weddings. Even weddings. Rally already has a wedding booked for the summer. Um, and of course, at all of our home athletic events. So oh. Rally is a busy cat. <laughs> Rally is, is one busy cat. Yep. Um, talk about the students that you work with. Are they unpaid interns? Is this a mascot class? W what's going on? Yeah, so there's not a mascot class per se. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, the rallies do go through about a month long training process. So they watch a video, they have a rally training manual, they observe a few games, then they shadow for a few games, and then we throw them into it. Um, so it's about a month long. And these students there, some are unpaid and just want to do it for fun and they don't even want to be paid. Um, some work study, some on wages, and some interns. Now you, I, I, I called Krista the keeper of the catamount, you are the rally wrangler. You are yes. handling the schedule, Yes. you're doing all this stuff yep. and all different places and things like that. And there are different kinds of rallies. Yep. We saw skating rally and walking rally, I guess, but yes. sk skiing rally, a roller skate rally, what yes, do we got? Yes, rally does everything. Rally's actually um, gonna be up at the mountain later today, skiing down with our ski team. So rally is a busy cat and rally can do all athletic events. All athletic events. Yep. When you hire the rallies, yep. do you have to, do you hire the skiing rally and be like, look, can you ski? We're looking for a skier. Yeah, so I definitely, during the interview process, I say, can you skate? Can you ski? What can you do? <laughs> right, um, right. Not all rallies can do all of the above. Some can just walk, but that's okay. <laughs> um, if they can ski and skate, that's definitely an added bonus. Okay. But we take what we can get. You take what you yep. can get. We always have at least one skier and one skater on staff. One skier and one skater on staff. And there's also, a, when we talked about the, the 10 students in the yep. story, there's always a rally handler. So yes. this rally is there with somebody else yep. as well. So that's part of, you have to organize two people schedule, not yes. just one. So rally always has a handler in case something goes wrong, rally needs a break, rally needs to be somewhere at a certain time. Um, and the handler is also generally a rally, so can be their handler or in the suit. So that person really knows what rally is going through at any given time. Any given time. Um, UVM Athletics has an ongoing social media campaign that uses that hashtag, this is Vermont. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah, so that is a campaign that started this summer. Um, it's, it's a way to really showcase what our student athletes have to offer. So they have an incredible story to tell between their academic and athletic achievements. And we want to really show how unique we are as a Division I athletic program. Um, and This is Vermont is really a way that we can showcase our community, our campus, our beautiful state, and most importantly, our student athletes and our fans. Is that something that fans can do as well? Yes. Can they take a picture and put that hashtag on there? Sure can. So if you are at a game and you're like, this is amazing, I love this, hashtag this is Vermont. <laughs> because what we want to do with that is it's really a way to consistently brand what we are as the Vermont Catamounts. Um, just a couple minutes left. One of the things I wanted to ask about was What's it like for you to work with these students? I mean, to, to get them in the suit and all that, it's gotta be a lot of fun, but what's it like for you? <laughs> it's definitely a lot of fun. One of the most favorite parts of my job is working with the students. Um, I have some student athletes on staff as well who are rallies, so that's definitely a fun part to see um, our student athletes be able to give back to these events um, that they also participate at. And it's definitely fun to work with them, seeing them develop throughout their time at UVM, but it also can be stressful. So in any given day, we could have four rallies needing to make appearances. Um, so it's definitely stressful juggling all of that and making sure rally, if we're at a game, making sure rallies at Zamboni door at a certain time and then up in section 10. And <laughs> it's definitely a lot, but it's worth it and a lot of fun. Stressful for Nora, not stressful yeah. for rally. Oh, no. We don't want to no. freak anybody out. <laughs> rally does not get stressed. <laughs> rally does not get stressed out. No. Well, as many viewers know, the best way to keep up with what's happening at UVM um, with their sports teams is through social media. And one of the one of what are the ways that fans can follow you, Nora? Yeah, so fans can follow us on Twitter at UVM Athletics as well as on Facebook at facebook.com slash UVM Athletics. And just go there, find out about yeah. games, all that stuff. So you can find out about games, um, upcoming events, anything you want, you can find there. Well, as our viewers can see, we are joined by a special guest. Rally Catamount is in the house. Welcome to Across the Fence, Rally. Now, Rally, uh, I know you don't talk, but I am dying to know how you think our story came out. 
Oh, thank God. <laughs> that makes me feel that makes me feel so much better, Rally. That makes me feel so much better. Uh, how about working with this lady? Oh, look oh. at that. Look at that. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I had a lot of fun following you around the gut rally, and I want to say when it comes to mascots, you are the cat's meow. <laughs> I want to thank everyone here at WCAX for making this program possible, and as always, thank you for stopping by Across the Fence.